A titanium tube containing a rock sample is resting on the red planet's surface after being placed there on December 21 by NASA's Perseverance Mars rover. Over the next two months, the rover will deposit a total of 10 tubes at the location, called Three Forks, building humanity's first sample depot on another planet. The depot marks a historic early step in the Mars sample return campaign. Perseverance has been taking duplicate samples from rock targets the mission selects. The rover currently has the other 17 samples taken so far in its belly. Based on the architecture of the Mars sample return campaign, the rover would deliver samples to a future robotic lander. The lander would, in turn, use a robotic arm to place the samples in a containment capsule aboard a small rocket that would blast off to Mars orbit, where another spacecraft would capture the sample container and return it safely to Earth. For more tech-related latest news and interesting videos, subscribe our YouTube channel and press the bell icon for latest updates. The depot will serve as a backup if Perseverance cannot deliver its samples. In that case, a pair of sample recovery helicopters would be called upon to finish the job. The first sample to drop was a chalk-sized core of igneous rock informally named Malay, which was collected on January 31, 2022, in a region of Mars Jezero crater called South Seda. Perseverance's complex sampling and catching system took almost an hour to retrieve the metal tube from inside the rover's belly. View it one last time with its internal catch cam and drop the sample roughly 3 feet 89 centimeters, onto a carefully selected patch of Martian surface, into the path of the rover's wheels. But the job was not done for engineers at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory in Southern California, which built Perseverance and leads the mission. Once they confirmed the tube had dropped, the team positioned the Watson camera located at the end of Perseverance's 7-foot-long, 2-meter-long robotic arm to peer beneath the rover, checking to be sure that the tube had not rolled into the path of the rover's wheels. They also wanted to ensure the tube had not landed in such a way that it was standing on its end. Each tube has a flat end piece called a glove to make it easier to be picked up by future missions. That occurred less than 5% of the time during testing with Perseverance's earthly twin in GPL's Mars Yard. In case it does happen on Mars, the mission has written a series of commands for Perseverance to carefully knock the tube over with part of the turret at the end of its robotic arm. In coming weeks, they will have other opportunities to see whether Perseverance needs to use the technique as the rover deposits more samples at the Three Forks catch. Seeing our first sample on the ground is a great capstone to our prime mission period, which ends on January 6, said Rick Welch, Perseverance's deputy project manager at JPL. It is a nice alignment that, just as we are starting our cage, we are also closing this first chapter of the mission. A key objective for Perseverance's mission on Mars is astrobiology including the search for signs of ancient microbial life. The rover will characterize the planet's geology and past climate, pave the way for human exploration of the Red Planet, and be the first mission to collect and catch Martian rock and regolith.